get into my shit. We're going, you know, fine. I'm about to stream. And then I see, um, uh, uh God, how do I want to say this? I want to say this the funny way, but it's also not a funny situation. You know what? Fuck it. I saw a big pair of boobs crying. And I, what is, what is wrong? I'm joking. Not a big pair of boobs. It was the, uh, the streamer Amarath. Who I'm a fan of. I love Amy Rath. I'm not really into her hot tub stuff. I'm more into when she's like unbanning um, the unbanned streams. Those are pretty fun. Um, but uh, I saw, because I was looking at this other streamer named Zerka, who seemed pretty funny. Um, and uh, he had like, a, he had what I thought was like, like I thought he had some model come on or something. Turns out to be Amy Rath. She was crying uh, because of some spousal abuse situations. Now, one, I didn't know Amy Rath was married, and a lot of people didn't, apparently. This was kind of something new that that um, that happened. And uh, so, Amy Rath's husband, and yeah, we're, we're going to go over the text messages. We're going to go over the call. Um, we're going to go over all of that. Right? Now, mind you, I just saw this today, so I'm going to kind of be reacting to it with you. But before we even go into her specific situation, I kind of wanted to talk about a uh, spousal situation spousal abuse or domestic violence in general right um it's not something that i'm very familiar with i'm not going to be honest with you i have not come from a home uh, that was that had domestic violence in it um there was definitely arguing which i've picked up honestly and i've seen like my parents argued a lot so i argue with my significant other keisha in order to get my point across which i'm trying to get better at it in terms of i'm trying to communicate versus argue but that's with everybody right like i don't just do that with keisha i do that with my brothers i do that with uh my father even my brother when we're talking about something civil he's like why do you have to try to turn it into an argument and i don't see myself turning it into an argument but uh in a way i can see how you know how i do things can be argumentative right um so if we're going into personal opinion about spousal abuse I believe that um, any type of abuse is wrong. Uh, I believe that um, it is completely different if a woman hits a man than if a man hits a woman. Now, I think in, in, in every situation can be, uh, what's it called? It, it can be specific to every situation, right? But um, I'm six foot two, 350 pounds, right? My fiance is five foot two, you know, 100 and... 60 maybe she can't do any damage to me she cannot hurt me right she physically unless she has a knife or something and if she does she'll cut me once and then i'll grab her hand and shake it until the knife comes out right like in order for her to to, to hurt me or do bodily damage she needs a gun or she needs to sneak up on me with a knife right those those two situations um so and if you have if you have a situation where you know your girlfriend gets mad at you and slaps you, that doesn't give you the right to then, okay, let me punch her in the face. Since she started it, since she hit me first, let me hit her back. No, those are two very different things, okay? Now, am I um, saying that it's okay for women to hit men? No, I am not. No, I am not at all, okay? I think that women should hit men just as much as men hit women, right? It should be zero across the board, but that's not, that's not what's real. That's not what's going to happen in real life. Women are a lot more emotional. Women have a lot harder time controlling their emotion. And that's because um, men, typically, if they don't control their emotion, they suffer more consequences than I feel like if a woman wasn't to control her emotions. Like, say if a woman, you know, gets mad, slaps a man, even if he does something like cheating on her or something like that, um, that's sort of acceptable versus if a man were to haul up and slap a woman, even if she did cheat on him. That's still not something that will be acceptable in today's standards. And that's, I completely agree with that. Um, but what I don't agree with is slapping. Like, you, you shouldn't put hands on anybody in general because then that just leads. Once you put your hands on somebody, that opens a door that you don't ever want open. You know what I mean? That t that says something about you that I don't think you can ever take back. Like, I think, I think after you hit a woman, right, and after you cheat on a woman, um, you can you can come back from that, but you will forever be labeled a cheater, and and a, and a, and a wife beater, a woman hitter, straight up. You'll always be that, right? Like even if you change, that will always be in your in your history, right? And I mean, people 
who have truly changed own up to that shit, right? They're like, yeah, I used to do that. Now I do this. You know, you can look at me however you want. People have looked at me like that, you know, already, right? It doesn't make any difference to me. Versus somebody who's like, what? I never did that. You know, taking no responsibility, taking no kind of, um, uh, I guess responsibility was the word I was looking for. So I found it. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay. Um, I don't know. That's, that's how was that for an introduction? You kind of know where I stand on um, on spousal abuse. Is it called spousal abuse? Oh, yeah, it is. Herbal on spousal abuse. Yay. Don't do it. Stream over. Can I go home now? All right, let's start with this video. Um, husband punches a uh, wife in the face in front of kids. This has 10 million or 2 million views. And I'm going to make it 2 million and 1. You need to leave, Sean. Seriously, dude. You need to leave. You need to go. You got. You take whatever you want. My fucking mine. This is mine. Ron. Where is my fucking PlayStation? Then? Oh, call him. Where? Where is my Keep fucking PlayStation? Keep on breaking stuff, and then I'll have no choice but to call the cops. Don't get even out. Start. Get out, Sean. Don't Alfred, fucking I'm start. protecting myself. No, you're not. Get out. Don't. Don't. Don't start. Move. Get out. It's my TV. Not yours. Oh, thank God it was censored by YouTube. Because I did not want to see that. I'm not going to lie. Bitch. You want to punch oh. me in the... So she's holding her face. Fucking face. Oh, God. I can't believe you loved. No. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. She tries to hit him once, right? I don't know if you guys... I don't want to hear them talking anymore. She tries to hit him once, right? Look at how easily he blocks the whole thing. He kicks the TV. She gets mad. She gets kind of scared. She's backed into a corner. He's fucking standing over her. So he tries to hit her. Without even thinking, he fucking stops it. Look at that shit. And here's the thing, he's grabbing that cord like it's a belt. The same way, the same way you would, you know, like, spank one of your children, he's grabbing the cord the same way. He's whipping it, see? Boom, wrapping it around, it's, it's, yeah, see, he's turning it into a belt. And then the punch happens. Now she's grabbing her face, but here's the change, right? Instead of... Instead of going from, oh, I'm mad now, he realized he fucked up. Now he's like, oh, snap. But he still, he still has the anger in his voice, right? Because he wants to still be right. In his mind, you still caused me to do this. This is your fault, right? Again, all the blame is on her. Oh. Me in the fucking face? Oh, God, I can't believe you No, you just punched me in the fucking face. Yeah, no, you just punched me. Okay, no, he's not doing any kind of caregiving. He's just fucking snatching her up. I, I think he does regret it, though. But... <laughs> you knew there was a camera there, you fucking asshole? You knew there was a camera there, bro. Oh, yeah. I hope that shit went straight to court. I hope that shit went straight to court. Look, I have all kinds of sympathy for men who are experiencing a ton of pressure in the home, okay? And the way you... um deal with that the way you handle that is to remove yourself from the situation right leave don't break anything don't do leave fucking leave go fucking listen to some music in your fucking car smoke a couple blunts come back you don't understand what it's like unless you're there living it in the fear and the way people get into your head to the outside, Nicole Hempelman and Stephen Hendrickson Jr. were a happy couple to a baby girl, but behind closed doors. How old is she? Why are you married to a 14-year-old girl, bruh? Men and Stephen Hendrickson Jr. were a happy couple to a baby girl. Although you look young, behind too. Closed doors, They're probably Hempelman like 19. Hempelman says her 19. now ex-boyfriend hurt her and Ooh. threatened her life multiple times. When he hit me, I mean, I looked down at... Annabelle and I couldn't let her grow up thinking that was normal. 
Her motion censored surveillance camera caught this on October 7th. <laughs> Hendrickson slaps the phone out of her hand and hits her with her daughter at her feet. While she called 911, court records say he left the room and returned with a gun. Hempelman says she started documenting her abuse and took this video Bruh. about a month earlier. Hold the baby. Stop recording it. You're going to lose it. Put it down. Five, four, three, two, one. What happens next is too violent to show. Within six seconds, Hempelman screams and is then seen in a chokehold. Yeah. Hendrickson was working as a firefighter paramedic for the Deerfield Township Fire Department in Warren County and the Stone Lake Township Fire Department in Claremont County. He was indicted on five charges, resigned from his firefighter duties, and pled guilty last week to felony aggravated assault, child endangerment, and domestic violence. For so long, he told me, nobody's going to believe you. Nobody is going to believe you. I'm a firefighter. Hearing that guilty plea... Like, Dude. It was almost yeah. like I was finally heard. Yes. It does not matter. Like, however high their position was, all in baseball, babe, that's true. No matter however high the position was, real talk, however high his position was, is brought just as low, right? If he was fucking plus 10 because he was a firefighter, he's now negative 10. He's not just zero. He's negative 10 because of, of he was a firefighter, right? Like... It's, it's always, I always say the same thing. Fat makes, it makes whatever better or worse, right? So if you have a fat ass, but it's stank, you have a fat stanking ass versus just, you know, a fat ass, which is a nice, that's a plus 10. A fat stanking ass is a negative 10, right? The fat adds to either the negative or the positive, right? Okay. <laughs> now, now that I've uh, talked about fat stanking asses, Let's um, get into a lot of the, uh, what do a lot of these like domestic violence situations like have in common, all right? Um, a lot of it is the blame of the other person. The person that's receiving the violence is also receiving the blame for the violence. What do these have in common? The blame usually goes to the victim, right? I'm doing this because of you. I'm, this is your fault, right? The, the, these are things that we saw in the previous video with the woman who uh, was trying to kick her husband out, you punched me first, so I fucking decked you in the face. We saw it with this last one. Um, put your phone down. I'm telling you to put your phone down, right? So these have a common victim blaming, okay? Now, a lot of the times, the victim believes it, right? They believe, oh, man, I was, I was this. That's why I did that. I was this. That's why I did that. And um, there's a term for that. It's called gaslighting, okay? And uh, we've talked about gaslighting a few times on this channel, stream, area, corner of Twitch where the fucking sands and the seas meet. Um, but let's get into an actual gaslighting video, which I have right here, specifically for this um, situation. We wanted to take a moment and be sure you knew how grateful we were for all your support. Oh, well, your support ongoing you support too. is what helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Well, thank you. Now let's continue. Let's do it. Gaslighting is a word that's used a lot in the media these days. But what does gaslighting actually mean? The term originates from the Patrick Hamilton's original 1939 stage play Gaslight, Gaslight. where okay. a husband psychologically manipulates his wife. In the story, the husband attempts to convince his wife that she is insane by manipulating small elements of their environment and insisting that she is mistaken, remembering things incorrectly when she points out the changes he makes. The play's title alludes to how the abusive husband slowly dims the gaslights in their home while pretending nothing has changed in an effort to make his wife doubt her own perceptions. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse where someone leads you to question your own reality, memory, or perceptions. So, here are 10 examples of what gaslighting can sound like. As a disclaimer, we want to note that not everyone who says these phrases is automatically a gaslighter. <laughs> yeah, gaslighting we should probably is intentional, cover that. And a gaslighter knows exactly what they're saying and what they're doing. Yes. 1. What did I do to you? If someone responds to you this way, they may genuinely not know what they have done and are asking you about it. 
But when it's gaslighting, they are aware they have done something to hurt you and are pretending to play dumb. In defensively posing this question to you, they are denying the impact they had on you and are also forcing you to question it. 2. Everyone around you isn't the problem. The problem is you. This is sometimes used as a way to shut down the conversation or dialogue for whatever is happening. Oof. This type of language is often referred to as victim blaming. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, yeah. But also, I, I don't want to go against this, but like if, for instance, with me, right? I know I'm a difficult person. If somebody says uh, this, if somebody uses this phrase to me, like they're right. Because, like, I literally get into the same kind of arguments with everybody. Whether it's my brother, unless I'm getting paid, then I'm not. Like, I don't get into any of these arguments at work. But I get into the same kind of arguments with my brother, with my fucking fiancé, with friends. All, all, same type of shit, right? Same kind of arguments. And it's just because I'm an argumentative person. If somebody says, well, you know, the problem is, you know, you get into arguments there. Like, people have used this phrase on me before, and it hasn't been gaslighting because it has been true. So take that into effect too like don't don't ever like look all right and, and i i had this thought like i have a very analytical kind of eye right i very I, I listen to things i see things um a lot of things that i notice i don't even talk about um but like i turn that analytical eye on me a lot right and when you have an analytical eye like mine you don't want to look in the mirror too much necessarily but like i do and um, I, I probably should more, but uh, but like definitely always look at yourself the same way you look at others in terms of judgment wise, right? Um, if you ever are trying to convince somebody of something, a, a good question to ask them is, uh, "What can I do in order to change your mind about the situation?" Um, it, or what evidence could be provided to you that would change your mind about the situation? If they have, no, if they say, "Well, nothing you can, no evidence you can provide to me." Um, no evidence you can, nothing that you can provide to me in terms of evidence could change my mind about it. Then it's an argument in bad faith, right? Then they're not really trying to hear you out. They're just trying to force their their narrative down your throat. Um, watch out for stuff like that. Anyway, I just that was just a kind of thought that I had. With a gaslighter, will make statements that cause you to feel like you are the problem, even when you have fallen victim to something such as bullying or abuse, and the situation is outside of your direct control. 3. I'm sorry you feel that way. When someone's hurt you and they say something like this, then it is not a true apology. Instead, it's a way to make you feel like you are the problem. They say that they're sorry that you feel the way you do, rather than apologizing for what they've done or how they made you feel. 4. I don't remember saying that. I think you made that up. This is the go-to phrase that a gaslighter will use to intentionally get you to question your experience, yeah, behavior, and thoughts in order to take the focus off of them. 5. It's your anxiety that made me do the things I do. This is a common response when a gaslighter gets called out for their behavior. They use this as a reason to justify their own negative behavior when in fact, they should take responsibility because for their own actions anxiety? instead of choosing to blame you. I don't see how that Six, can be used effectively. You need help. This term is used to imply that you are the problem and that you need to address your issues rather than them having to work through their own issues. This is a shutdown response to avoid working things through with you. 7. It's your fault. People who gaslight will neglect any responsibility for their actions or for a situation. Instead, they will directly blame others. This can be a repetitive cycle where you may be made to feel like something is your fault, mm -hmm. even if it isn't. You may even apologize for things that <laughs> aren't your fault mirror. to make peace with them. 8. You're too emotional. This implies that your characteristics are seen as flaws, and this can make you question your I own sense of who you are. 9. It's not a big deal. People who gaslight have a tendency to minimize the impact that something has on you. They may make you feel like you are making a bigger deal out of something when you are within your right to talk about things that are bothering you and express yourself openly. 10. Why are you so defensive all the time? You're attacking me. This is a common phrase used when you challenge a gaslighter. They have a tendency to flip the conversation towards you and make it out like you are the one who is in the wrong. By accusing you of being defensive and that you're attacking them, then they become the victim. Do any of these phrases sound familiar to you? These are only some of the things a gaslighter will say to you. 
You may have heard these before or even said them yourself, but this does not necessarily mean you have been gaslighted or that you are a gaslighter. Mm. Gaslighting is intentional, and a gaslighter knows full well what they are saying and what they are doing. We encourage you to seek help or guidance if you suspect that gaslighting has played a role in your life. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you Okay. So a lot of the this a lot of these tactics, uh, gaslighting in particular is used especially um, in, with emotional abuse, but it's also used in order to justify physical abuse, right? Like the guy before, I hit you, I punched you in the face. Like he was screaming, you punched me? Huh? You punched me? He's screaming, you punched me, knowing that like that punch didn't fucking do anything and you blocked. Now, a lot of the times, you know, you ask, why don't, why don't you just leave, right? If, you, if you're dealing with this spouse who's so bad, you know, why can't you just leave? Just up and go. I'm going to follow these guys, by the way. Or subscribe. Up and go. Right? Just leave. Leave, leave, leave. Well, a couple reasons. First thing, um, a lot of the times, especially in the case of a man and a woman, and the man is the provider, the woman can't just leave. Um, she has nowhere to go. She has no way of earning money. Um, sometimes she doesn't have family. A lot of the times, the person who's abused or the, the abuser separates them from their family, right? This is something that is, um, another reason is because in today's day and age, um, being tracked by, especially by a spouse or somebody who uh, has access to your social security number or phone or passwords is very, very easy. How easy? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I have a video on it. And this comes from Vice. What was it that your husband was doing when you knew you had to leave? He wanted to control and manipulate every aspect of my life. He had sexually assaulted me on two occasions where I should have called the police on him, but I didn't. I did nothing. This shit is really hard I was to so listen scared. to. Harper left her husband Very two years ago, to. and towards the end of their relationship, she says he secretly installed software on her phone that tracked her location, read her text messages, and recorded her calls. We disguised her identity because she is still afraid of her ex-husband. He installed a device on my vehicle so that he could track my whereabouts, and he recorded my conversations. How did you realize that he had installed this software on your phone? He would confront me with it. He would play back the conversations because he would question me about who I talked to and what we talked about. I thought I was going crazy. I kept thinking to myself, is this even real? A 2016 Government Accountability Office report identified more than 40 apps that can secretly track phone activity. A lot of these apps are marketed to parents who would want to track their children, but domestic violence shelters see a disturbing trend. What we assume is that everything's tracked. Really? Because you, you assume that we assume that tracked. everyone's being tracked. And the Liz Ortenberger runs Safe Nest, a Las Vegas domestic violence shelter that provides counseling and other services to 45,000 victims a year. I mean, you just Google, I want to track my wife, right, and see what pops up. Yes, it's there. And and those wow. apps really give you access to. Everything. Yeah, so yeah, we've been talking mostly about tracking, but there are apps that will shadow the entire phone, so everything you do on your phone will dump into wherever I designate it to dump, or I have eyes on everything that's happening through that phone, including your camera. Your camera? Yep, and as long as there are people willing to pay for that kind of thing, they will continue to exist. In most cases, all an abusive partner needs is physical access to the phone, the password, and 20 minutes to install the software. I installed one of these tracking apps, SpyZ, onto my own cell phone. It took me less than 10 minutes, and in just a couple hours, it was pulling my text messages and tracking my location. And so, do you find that there's a lot of people that do this? Yeah, uh, it's all the time, you know? I mean, how many grieved uh, spouses are out there? The spyware I installed runs in the background, invisible to the user. That means even if a victim suspects they're being watched, they'll have a hard time proving it. That's where a forensic investigator like Leon Murray comes in. I asked him to analyze my phone. I've got the cell phone I'm gonna open up now, I'm gonna connect it. 
So you're getting all of my personal information. Oh, you'll see. Doing forensic analysis on a cell phone isn't cheap. Murray can charge up to $200 an hour. Damn. The dashboard on Spazi shows you all the different communications. Oh my God. It has my WhatsApp messages. Yeah. There's a picture of a dog there yeah. that my friend sent me. Yeah. And you have all my text messages. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. What else can you get? Location history, browser Location history. history. Everything to do with social media. Jesus. Yeah. It's a, lot, a big business. I mean, the people are making a lot of money. It's getting better and more sophisticated every year. Man. People who install these apps onto their spouse's phone are typically in violation of three laws. The federal wiretapping statute, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, and the federal stalking statute. But prosecution is rare, at least in part because detection is rare and difficult. It took Leon over 24 hours of analysis to identify Spizy on my phone. Some of these companies' websites have disclosures, saying the apps can't be used for illegal use, and some have ways to report abuse. But that doesn't stop people from doing it. We Venmo? attempted to find out Jesus. some extremely basic information about the people behind these apps. We asked five companies to provide the name of their CEO in the country they're based in. We also asked if they were aware of any illegal use of their apps. Only one, My Mobile Watchdog, got back to us. Yeah, of course. Its CEO, Robert Lauder, said that he is aware of My Mobile Watchdog being used for domestic abuse, but that they disable the account and refer the victims to law enforcement when notified. Although Harper has been divorced from her husband for more than a year, she still shares custody of their children. So even after you've left the marriage, you're still feeling like you're being surveilled? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know if he's planted anything on the children. Children have cell phones, so their cell phones can be used as well. The number of stalking apps is going up, and as smart devices and homes become more common, abusers have even more ways to control their spouses with technology. That means the problem isn't getting any better for Harper and other victims. Do you think you'll ever be able to get to a point where you feel like you're not being surveilled? No. Just because of the person that he is. It's all about control, domination. I don't take his threats lightly. Wow. Okay, so situations like this, again, you can't even leave, right? Your entire phone is being, you know, if, if, you're, if your husband is tech savvy, you know, then your, then your entire phone could be accessed by him if he's, if he's installed any one of these apps, right? And you were right what you said. The laws aren't keeping up with, um, the laws are not keeping up with technology, Okay. The laws aren't, straight up. There's been many cases where people <laughs> who, who could have been proven innocent by the law were not, or the evidence was not allowed because they didn't understand it, and that people have been proved guilty, and they probably weren't because of evidence that was not understood and fucking, and, and technology that was either behind or fucking, or not understood properly. Um... That's just a fact, and that, that's always going to be a thing. Laws aren't going to catch up to technology anytime soon, uh, unfortunately. So, Herbal's talking a lot about domestic abuse, right? Why? Why am I doing this? Why, why is, did this even come up on my radar? I mean, it's been on my radar, but why am I bringing this up now? And I mentioned it before. It's because, um, well, it's because of Amarath. It's because of Amarath. So, um, Amarath is married, unfortunately, guys. If you were uh, thinking that you had a chance, you don't. Never did, but you don't now. Um, she's married, and uh, her husband sent some messages and uh, had a call. And this all happened on stream. Um, I think I'll start with the call. Mind you, viewer discretion is strongly fucking advised. And this all happened all on stream. Uh, mind you, uh, uh, well, let's just, let's get into it. Sanity. If you think that of me, then we just not be together and we should not work together. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now. If you think that, I, don't, I won't want us to be together. Okay. So if you think that. Okay, sure. I agree. 
which is why I'm about to tear it down with this tweet. You t just because we're incompatible doesn't mean you have to f try to destroy I my do. life. I do. Why? He has because, he um, has control of all of her finances. Okay, um, he has control. Or he has access, of course, to her house. Um, I built it for someone I thought was compatible with. You didn't build didn't it build for it. some. You, we, I, you, I literally put in hours of streaming, all of my work, all of my like. I learned in the photo shoots. I've done the work too. Yet it's not like I'm just a uh, fucking. Well, now you're claiming credit for it. What do you mean I'm claiming credit for it? I've literally been the one streaming for all these years and doing the photo shoots. Like, what the fuck do you mean claiming credit? Here's the thing. If he spends all the money, what are the lawyers going to do? Like, if he spends all of their money, he has millions, he spends them, um, because he forced her to. All right, he. this is literally, like, this, this all comes up. Okay, this all comes up. He forced her to do a 24-hour stream, and... Um, she told the chat, basically, she told all that he basically forced her to do the 24-hour stream. So he calls her up and calls her a fucking liar. And, yeah. Stop! Stop fucking <laughs> subscribing. Me. Wow, you did it this time. You ruined us. Really? I'm the one that ruined us? You literally told me you were going to kill my dogs and you expect me not to snap after you say you're going to ruin everything, you asshole? What do you mean, why? We were looking at, did you guys just own all this bullshit? What do you mean, why? If you're going to fucking try to stab me in the back on my social media platforms, it deserves to be out there that you're the one fucking lying and being an asshole to me. Yes. What the fuck? So she's she's using the power that she has by exposing his ass. And, and why there are fat guys like me making videos all across YouTube. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I, I... Good. I don't care. <laughs> I can't hear you. Good. Get your shit back, babe. Don't not. Nah. You've been dealing don't with an his... asshole to me for years and just disappearing from stream for 12 hours at a time. A yeah. lot of times, like, why you got? Why you got? I have to make up bullshit because you don't want to tell people about the, the fact that you fucking asshole to me for so long. Look. I know the crying. Sometimes women empowerment is yes, queen. I'm going to step out and fucking. But sometimes, and most of the time, real women empowerment is fucking crying and screaming. And like, yeah, this is, it's real, bro. It gets real. Like when you have fucking conversation with your spouse, like, yeah, bro, it's, it's, it's serious, you know? But I, I don't know if she, I don't know, I don't know about their finances. I really don't. I wish, uh, I, I don't wish I did, but like, I'm sure if it was easy enough for her to, um, <laughs> pretty Larry, yeah, no. Look, I, you can't, you can't, like, I myself <laughs> uh, have had questionable taste in women. I will say that the women who I've been interested in are still hot, like, they're still very much attractive. But in terms of personality, uh, yeah, yeah, they're go-getters. They're fucking winners. I'll tell you that. But they might not be the nicest of people. But I picked the the one that eventually won out over all of them was uh, did have a good personality. That's who won, right? That's who's gonna hold me down. Like if I if I built a Twitch empire with Keisha, there wouldn't be a conversation like this where I'm crying or I'm mad or yelling or something. I'm not saying it would be fucking perfect and all lollipops and fucking rainbows but i'm saying i don't think it would be a situation akin to this you just take me away from my stream and start arguing at me for 12 hours at a time they, they told me we're gonna go 24 we're gonna go 48 like yeah you fucking asshole like i deal with so much shit from you i have so many offers from better people in my dms who would actually treat me better like what the fuck is wrong with you? It's like you don't even care. That's that is not even that is not even a lie. In her, I bet her DMs are fucking. I bet her DMs are filled. I bet it's rappers and fucking. I bet her DMs are popping. Like the one person who fucking hates Amber is the one she decided to be with, and I made the most terrible decision of my life, and now you just like fucking want to ruin you, it. Why did you swap me? I didn't fucking. You're fucking full of shit. My fucking god. Gaslighting. Literally got physical with me.
Damn, bro. And then, like, who fucking try to take my phones away because he's gonna destroy my PC when I record it. Now he's just trying to say bullshit because he knows he fucked up. He just admitted he was lying. Fucking asshole. Let me stop making threats about you're gonna ruin my career and kill my dogs and sell my horses and send them to a meat auction if you're gonna fucking be this way. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not, that's a fucked up threat, but, like, that's also a very rich girl threat. Like, I'm, like, I understand that I'm going to kill your dogs because I have dogs, but it's like, I'm going to send your horses to the meat auction. I'm going to send your horses to the fucking glue factory. It's like, damn, that's, that's a very rich threat. Like, huh. I'm going to burn every bitly in this bitch. Like, ah. I'm not going to answer your phone call now. The fuck? Now that you know that I'm streaming it and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you piece of shit. Let them know, queen. Let them know, sis. I don't know, bro. I gotta keep giving her fucking... You're just gonna lie because you know that it's live, asshole. God. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I wanted yeah, to I hear... tweet about it, bitch. <laughs> oh. You literally just admitted you were lying about the tweet, you fucking dipshit. Fake as fuck, God, I wish. I've been telling him we fight so much, we should just fucking stream it. <laughs> Bruh. This is, Never um... When, uh. I was a 2, 1K, when I was a, a 500k Andy, it was like, why can't you just get 1k? When I was a 1k, why can't you just get 5k? When I was 5k, why can't you just get 10k? And now that I'm a 10k Andy, it's like, why can't you be at 20k? It's like, it's never fucking good enough. Oh, I bro. don't get days off. I don't get to see my horses. He's saying he's gonna sell my horses because I'm not hitting 20k, 15k average viewers. <laughs> was it, tired wasn't of she shit. like 40? I thought she was at like 40,000 or something like that. I mean, look, you, I mean, I, I, I even roasted her for a little bit for like the horses comment, but like, it's the idea of control, right? Like if it's not horses, it's like, I'm going to sell your bullshit. If you don't fucking like, imagine if it's like your wife was like, I'm going to sell your PlayStation five. If you don't fucking work 12 hours every day, like you can find something to do for four more hours. You think you're going to come home after eight hours? Fuck you. No, go back out there four more hours or I'm selling the PlayStation five because we need money. So either you, you fucking work four more hours every day, or I'm selling the PlayStation 5. Choose. And it's like, I like it's the same fucking, you know. I don't know. I don't know. So fucking toxic. I can't fucking have a normal stream and enjoy myself without comparing me to every single fucking girl that's online right now. You have all these followers. You should be two times as much. Three times as much. You should be at five extra viewers. I'm like, shut the fuck up and just let me enjoy my fucking stream. God. I fucking can't deal with it anymore. The, the threatening to fucking kill my dogs. Yeah, bro. You threatened to now kill he's the dogs. Me. He's like, I was literally answering DMs while arguing with you. It's still working. You just ruined us. Like, well, maybe you shouldn't fucking say you're gonna kill my dogs. You fucking dipshit. Like, I'm so tired of it. Yeah, I think if he would have never threatened to kill the dogs, uh, this would have all still been under the rug. But I feel like she's like, that's a step. That's a fucking step, man. He said she said he's already gotten physical with her, so. You know, she has no reason to believe that he wouldn't do it. And I mean, if you have this kind of money on the line, like she's making millions, right? There are millions. He said that he was going to leave her with $1 million and she was like broken about that. Like she's, she's got a lot of fucking money, but like, I don't know. It's really, it's really difficult for me to say, you know, like, cause at the same time, fuck the rich, but at the same time. I'm all, I'm all for, um, but like, it's, it's nah, I'm still on her side, bro. I don't care how rich she is. Like, he shouldn't be doing this shit. This is abusive piece of shit behavior, bro. And as a man, like, I, I can't stand behind him doing this shit to her. I don't, I, I can't, bro. I really can't. Like, even the biggest pieces of shit, you protect your fucking woman. You hold her over fucking anything. You know what I mean? Like... 
You threaten the fucking, you know, I can, one, if Keisha's business blew up, if, if art by Keisha gets millions of followers and she's doing all this shit, like I'm doing whatever I can to support her. I'm not going to be like, okay, well time for me to start running this shit now. Like, no, I'd be doing whatever I can to support her. And if there was no room for me to help her business grow, then I'm going to fucking do my own shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, still though. She has the go. She is the golden goose. She doesn't have. She is the golden goose, right? You know, she's all the talent. She's all the everything. But still, it still sucks. Imagine if you build up a platform to a certain level. Some dude comes in later and then is like, this is all mine. I'm tearing it down. Like, I put as, just as much work as you did and you're the face of the operation. I mean, there are some people who put in just as much work and they're not the face of the operation. But at the same time, they're, they're also probably not the owner of it either. Like, this guy somehow, I don't know, man. If you can't fucking control yourself, fucking go to anger management like I've been trying to tell you for years. Go get fucking therapy. I know, I owe two dabs. God. I'm tired of this shit. Like, I haven't left for years because it's like a Jekyll and Hyde situation where it's like when we're not fighting, everything feels like when we were dating again. It's like, fuck off. You want to divorce me? Fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm just tired of it. Nah. Just divorce me because I wasn't successful enough for you, even though I helped you make fucking multi-millions of dollars. You want to burn it all to the ground because you're a bitch. Fucking sure. Whine about it. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'd rather be broke again and deal with this shit anymore. Yeah. Straight up. You can get that money back. I give a fuck. I'm so done. I'm so fucking done. To, to get to this point, to tell people you have that. to be. Like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. But no, Mr. I don't know. Don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. Piece of shit. Well, good. <laughs> I'm not going to fuck you anymore. All right. True, this is what happens, but it hits differently if it's your fucking, if it's your spouse, though, it's not. Like, you know, it's it's supposed to be other people, right? Like, other people are supposed to fuck you. That's where the dick goes. It comes from other people, right? It doesn't come from the banks or who fucks you, right? The government, that's who fucks you. It's not supposed to happen from your wife. Your wife is supposed to fuck you in a different way. You know, your husband is supposed to fuck you in a different way. They're not supposed to be fucking you financially, emotionally, fucking in every which way possible. That's not the fun way. You know what I mean? Like, you know, she's in a situation here where, um, like, it's, it's just bad. You know, uh, and, and I mean, it, it, it does happen, but you, you got to have empathy. Like, I have so much empathy, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Fucking done with this shit. And I feel you for this want, chick. You want me to tell I them really I'm single? Do. It's about to be true, piece of shit. Let them know. <sighs> Small dick, anyways. Whew. God damn it. This is not fucking good. Damn, bro, she said you had a small dick in front of how many thousands of people? Fuck himself. And he's like, oh shit, you're alive. You saw that, you heard that voice fucking change. So I like, oh, fuck, went silent completely. And then, oh, uh, why did you swap me? Dude, you fucking already said that that was fake and that you were lying about it, you asshole. Yeah, maybe don't do that. God. You ruined it. Yeah, okay, mm hmm. I want to hear, uh, I'm not want to hear, but it's too long. Don't get married. It's a trap. All right. Here are the actual text messages that were sent 
Let's go over these. I'm sure this is going to be fun. How the fuck long is that car ride? Stream lag so bad. This is fail. Uh, let me see. I can't. Literally, screenshots from when we were at his dad in the car. He makes me change. Wait, wait. How the fuck long is the car ride? Uh, this is fail. Massive, massive fail. Fail. The fuck are you doing? Get the fuck if there. Next time when I say a plan, do it, dumb fuck. Do you understand? Wow. Change his name. Sherry's literally my mom's name. It's like, f fuck off. He's like, how the fuck long is that car ride? Stream lag so bad. This is fail, massive fail. A fail. The fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out there. And, you know, I mean, the cameraman, we're like, we're in the house now. It's like, the next time when I say plan. Like, it's, it's, the money, sure. Like, I, I don't feel bad for the rich, but I... It's like, if a rich woman was raped, or if a rich woman is being abused by her husband, uh, I'm not going to be like, well, the money should cushion your fucking, should, 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 uh, should wipe up your tears. You know what, relation? You know what, or you know what I mean? Well, yeah, okay, so... See, the abuse, the abuse is what I feel bad for. You know, again, I'm not, I, I, I'm not judging her because she was successful and made money on, on Twitch or anything. I have no, no ill will to her, you know, for that or anything. But, like, it's, it's all about who you pick, right? And I'm never, it's, it's I don't want to say, attra attractive people give less of a fuck. Am I, I, I the more attractive you are, the more I think you don't really care. I don't consider myself to be objectively attractive, if I'm being honest with you. I don't have low self... Uh, I have kind of low self-esteem. I don't think I'm ugly or anything like that. I just don't think I'm like, you know, I wasn't blessed to be one of the most attractive men out there, right? But, like, when you're looking at, like, top 1% of beauty and stuff like that, you don't have a lot... There's not a lot of empathy there. There's not a lot of, um... Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. Also, when it comes to who really should be involved, not mad as to say, call the police. I mean, yeah, call the fucking police. Fuck you. Get the fuck outside. I'm calling you. I can't talk right now. We are getting uh, Wi-Fi. I don't care. When do it, dumb fuck. Do you understand? Like we're planning talking about. It. Like fuck this. I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't. Uh, tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi-Fi. I don't care. Get Holy the call shit, now. get the call now, last chance. I'm about to dump your luggage. I'm throwing your stupid merch off the balcony, proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or the live, for, or, or the live you, or the clothes guy, huh? Deleting social medias in one month, minute, one month's minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. I am about to shut down the real work bank account too, and and did and just insta give it. What? Last chance about to dump your luggage. You know from the, the my hotel. Is there ugly? Throwing your stupid exactly. Off the That's how we do it. Look, us uglies will rise up and take over the beautifuls. Okay, we will make them do work in the fields. We will make them clean. We'll make them cook. And then at the very end of it, we will pull them all in a pit filled with gasoline. And I'll throw the fire in. I'll throw the match in myself. <laughs> Could you imagine? You did your stuff. You don't need the makeup or the, or the, the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account, too. Lag wow. is terrible. Stream is garbage. It's like, right. About to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Phone Gonna is literally donate, died. Gonna donate $250,000 $250, to pull him. He's like a bird sanctuary he likes. In the next two minutes, <laughs> okay, gone. Bruh. We'll donate 500 k He's a fucking bitch. A bird sanctuary? Who, who, who knows about a bird sanctuary? I mean, three minutes. If no call in one minute, I will absolutely make sure Kyron goes to a meatpacking house, and that's what made me lose it. 
the most I was like, Kyron is the I was horse. Just starting to kill the dogs, and I was like the last one, and I could not take it anymore. Twenty seconds, time's up. Seven hundred fifty k gone. Now we can't do a down payment for a California house. Another two hundred fifty k in five minutes. About the tweet about about the tweet about you swatting me. The thing he said he was lying about and admitted it. Yep. In ten minutes, ten minutes. You never talked to my nephews again. Tweeting in in two minutes, one minute gone. Tweeting in one. Quit giving these idiots, buddy. Bruh, it's not. It's whoever gets famous. It's literally that's part of the capital system. That's part of a capitalist system, right? Whoever fucking wins, wins. And with Twitch is sort of how it is, right? Whoever fucking is liked, they get liked. Whoever fucking gets a fan base, they get fan based. It's it's the money though. It, it's it is the money though. It's kind of a slap in the face where it's like. I'll spend two hundred and fifty thousand right now, and you're like, "Oh, this isn't even like an empty threat." Like he'll probably do it, and then they'll make up about it later. You know what I mean? Like th this isn't even an empty threat. Like he'll do that shit, and they'll get over it. It was the actual murder of the horse, horses, and murder of the dogs that I think she was. Um, those threats are what got her. I'm just fucking done, dude. I'm just fucking done. I can't fucking do it anymore. It's a fucking asshole. That's just like a typical day at the office for me. Just a typical day in my relationship. Relationship. More like relationship. Yes, we've heard that one before. It's done. It was fucking done. Women, look, crumb, crumb, listen. To you or me, two upstanding good guys, like dudes, like good dudes, women, of course, have all the power because we're not doing shady legal shit, okay? If you're already an asshole and you already have it in you to fucking, okay, I'm gonna control this bitch. You're doing shit where, like, well, this is all in his name, so he technically owns it, even though, like, you're making all the money that goes into it, you know what I mean? Like... Shady, shady legal shit, like, I bet or the, is the only reason why she has to do this. If she had the ability to just get divorced and everything separated, it, it wouldn't even be a situation. But, again, if you're an asshole, right, if, if, and, and we've looked at, at stuff in the past, or this last little bit of stream, we looked at gaslighting, we looked at a lot of these different um, things that people do in order to control their spouse. You know, we even looked at fucking dudes putting software in the phones to track everything that their spouse is doing, right? This guy is probably on a level like that, but fucking way higher, okay? So this dude not only has complete control over her finances, but, like, has access to her, her fucking, her house, all her houses, her fucking, all her vehicles. She, he has access to everything. Her horses, her fucking, her, um, her dogs, all of this shit. And these threats from the past, from her experience with him, aren't idle threats. I'm just done. I'm just fucking done with it. <sighs> Always threatening to cut off the internet if my number's not high enough. Get out here right now so you can yell at me for 12 hours. Streaming like, why did Amaranth disappear for 12 hours? Rip content, no content Andy. Wow, so boring, never on stream, Omega lol. It's like, yeah, I wish I was. I really wish I was. All right. And now this is where it ends, 26 second clip. Uh, this stream, her last stream, ends like this. Hello? Hey. Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking my- Alright, door opens and stream ends. Look, kind of like a horror movie. What? Oh, that's her assistant coming in. Oh, see, again, it's like really hard, because it's like, I feel sorry for her, then it's like, oh, 18 plus Yay. Twister? 
Oh, it's nothing but ass cheeks on my screen right now. Oh, damn. Okay, let's kind of go back here. Sorry. We weren't looking at ass cheeks. We are looking at abusive spouse. Let's get back to the... But, yeah, I'm not, like... Again, nothing nothing justifies the shit that he's doing. Like, I don't give a fuck who it is. Nothing justifies the shit that he's doing. 